Canadian wildfire smoke has filled the skies over the last several weeks and with global temperatures rising each year, we asked leading climate experts to about lingering effects. NBC 5's Adrian Pastor joins us live in Burlington with more on the impacts we're already seeing from this smoke. Adrian. Yes, Zuri, Sarah Beth, good morning. Over the last 60 years, we've seen a steady increase in wildfires, with more than half of them occurring within the last two decades. Now, we're live here at Perkins Pier, which has become a popular destination for folks to get views of the Adirondacks and northern New York, which has been recently lost in the haze. This summer, wildfire smoke from Canada has been seemingly more aggressive in our region than in past years, impacting visibility, air quality, and the health of people across North America. When you look at forest fires, there's some places that are particularly prone. Um, parts of central and southern Quebec are one region. California is another hotspot. The EPA has identified that changing climate patterns have altered drought and snowmelt conditions, a contributing factor to the number of wildfires and the intensity of the smoke. The higher up it gets, the further it's able to travel because it's being transported by those upper level winds, those jet stream winds. Dr. Gil Allen is a professor in the Department of Pulmonary and Critical Care at the UVM Larner College of Medicine. He says studies out of California show more instances of cardiac arrest and emergency department visits following wildfire smoke events. Certainly there's an increased risk uh, for breathing difficulties and that's the first thing that most would come to mind for most people. And while those with pre-existing conditions could feel immediate impacts, Dr. Allen says it's important to think in the long term, even for those who appear to be in good health. Smoke can be irritating to the airways of anybody, even those without asthma. Um, and it can increase the risk of some of these other cardiovascular complications in people who may not know that they have certain risks. When smoke settles, he says the best thing to do is to close all windows and to turn on air purifiers. And if you don't have the means to do so, try to stay with people who can and wait it out. Now, climate experts are predicting that if the weather conditions continue, we could see an earlier and a higher peak of wildfire season that would result in more health related events and a strain on the healthcare field. We're live in Burlington this morning. Adrian Pastor, NBC5 News.